Ever since I moved to Key West six years ago, I have been such a fan of my next guest this morning, artist Ray Rolston. He is a Key West favorite, a favorite of mine, and of course, after seeing his work, he will become a favorite of yours. He's invited us into his studio to give us a little preview of what he's working on next. Ray, thank you so much for inviting us into your studio and your home today. It's beautiful in here, all of your paintings everywhere around us. Oh, it's my pleasure, man, my pleasure, my pleasure. As I mentioned to our viewers, ever since I moved here six years ago, you definitely are one of my favorite artists. I, I think you're remarkable at painting, and I think you have a remarkable story, because a lot of people who see your paintings, they don't know, Ray, that you can't see out of both of your eyes, but you can still paint something spectacular. Well, I got a lot of secret weapons, <laughs> <laughs> like magnifying glasses and so I'm just kidding. No, um, I was born with a scar, so I never had vision out of this eye. So I really don't know what it is to have both eyes. And it really doesn't really make a difference for me, you know, so um, I just move on merrily. <laughs> Ray, how was this past season for you? I saw you recently at Mallory Square, and you said it was one of your best seasons it was, yet. It was, it was, <laughs> it was, man. Oh yes, what a, what a year it has been so far. This first half is probably the best I've ever had, the first half, you know? And we're hoping that the second half would be just as good. Mm -hmm. Lots of commissions, and um, I started going back out to Mallory Square, mm -hmm. where you meet a lot of people. And over the years, as you know, I used to go to Mallory every single day, uh, like, 10 years ago and you build up a very very large following and then of course I had to take a higher just because of business and different things but I started going back met so many new friends and stuff because as you know Mallory people come from all over the world and visit us there so it's really really a great place to be I don't even call it a job going out there it's a social break to meet all the people <laughs> and the sunset and Caribbean the band playing there every day, it's nice. It doesn't get better than that. And you know that everybody loves them some Ray Rolston too. <laughs> oh, yeah, take home a little piece of Key West. <laughs> oh yes. Ray, what are you currently working on right now? Um, I'm working on several commissions, but the one I'm trying to finish is, um, it's a house that's right around the corner. And I'm going to call it the, um, the Key West Diva. One thing about Key West, um, this is a small island, but the houses and the landscape, and especially some of the older houses, they all got this little personality of their own, you know. You pass a little house and you see it, and it's old, might be dilapidated, but it's just got something about it that is so attractive and so nice, you know. I know, maybe reminding you of a different time or a different age or something, but they, and, and the colors, you know. There are some of the rustic colors and some of the, the people they use a little bit of creativity, you know, to decorate their fences or their gardens. It's nice. It's nice. It's not very hard anywhere. You get some kind of a creative inspiration. Just riding around the streets, you know, with the Bourbon Veyers and the Royal Pantianas. It's nice. Yes. You can't run out of inspiration here no, in Key West. Not here. Sunsets, sunrises, everything factors into the day very, very nicely. Sometimes I have a hard time believing we are living here in this paradise. I, I know. I have a hard time believing it sometimes myself. Oh, yeah. Ray, before we go this morning, what would you say that you want people to take away from your work? When they buy a piece of your work, when they see you painting something, what do you hope they take away from it? Well, um, actually it's not what I hope they take away. Some of the comments that people make who bought before and when they come back they say, oh man, You've created magic for us. You bring us a lot of warmth up in Michigan and places like that. And that is so satisfying to hear that. And every now and then somebody will put on the internet a selection of my work that they bought over the years in the environment that is in their home. And it is so beautiful to see it. And especially to people from far up north like um, Ohio and Michigan and all those places. It's just nice, you know. Makes you feel like you're doing something really special. Well, you are. You are doing something very special, Ray. I love your work. And again, thank you so much for inviting us into your home and your studio. Hopefully, I'll see you at Mallory Square soon. Please do. <laughs> All right.